Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Recording this on Sunday, July 14th. Quick look at the markets and then we'll jump into my trades for the week. Starting with VIX, ended up uh, closing the week slightly lower than it started, but pretty sideways, even with the uh, pretty heavy moves that we saw in the indices. SPX, of course, it's Groundhog, Groundhog Week, hit a new all time high. 56.55, had a big up day on Wednesday, big which was uh, CPI, big down day on Thursday, which was PPI, big up day on Friday, and then gave back about half of what it gained on the day, but not before hitting new all-time highs. NDX, not as strong. Uh, you can see big down day on Thursday, Friday, never, never got back up to the all-time highs that it hit on Wednesday of 20,690, but again, similar price action on Friday where it gave about half or so back. Russell, absolutely on fire. Uh, Russell having showing gains, uh, showing a high that we haven't seen since middle of January 2022. So small caps, we've got a little rotation into small caps this week. And then the Dow, strong, uh, barely any pullback on Thursday. In fact, it closed closed green and then another big day on Friday hit a high of over 40,500 gold up for the week silver sideways notes and bonds higher 10 year yield closed lower at 4.182 oil pretty sideways natural gas lower soybeans lower corn a uh, big down day on Monday and then a bounce on Thursday Friday and wheat lower Euro and the pound stronger, uh, showing relative weakness in the U.S. dollar. And then Bitcoin settling in, the future settling in at 57805 All right, as far as my trades go, had a nice little week going until Friday hit and then ended up having some big slippage in the last move of the day on Friday. Uh, but let's break these down by the different uh, strategies, starting with my AM trades. Uh, just a few small profits. Now, some of these, uh, I did more AM trades, but I ended up transforming transforming them into different spreads, which I'll show on the transformers. Uh, let's see, on the 1DTE side, yeah, none on that. Uh, did it, did, yeah, Friday was the uh, killer on my update power hour. Uh, you can see here, I had some massive slippage. I was using stops. I, I've talked about, I'm doing less and less with using stops just because of the slippage issues that we're seeing with Schwab, but uh, did get hit pretty good in power hour on these three trades. Um, so that, that was pretty unfortunate. Uh, let's see, no challenge Ricks, no FOMC. My rut one DTE hedge had a couple monster wins. Um, just doing one lots and had a $3,500 win and a $3,200 win on a one lot. So plus 7,300 altogether on those trades. Uh, let's see. I may have had another power hour. Let me just get all these checked. Yeah. So three other ones. One was a, uh, what I call a vol crush. Um, that one had some slippage as well. And then a couple, one small loser, one small winner. Uh, I had a PM ratio trade that it was also got caught in that uh, Friday move that caused some, some big slippage for uh, total loss. And that one was 3,500. I was very close to getting that one locked in for a profit, reducing my stop but the, before the reversal happened. Uh, on the price action side, uh, I had a nice winner of 3,400, loser 3,250, minus 17, plus 250, so a little bit red on those. I did a lot more, and the majority of these I transformed into some other spreads, so I'll show you that in my transformers. Uh, I did have one discretionary Rick. It was good for 1,280, uh, and then one DTEs and two DTEs, uh, yeah, just just one loser. This was discretionary, uh, minus 5,200. Uh, I did, I did some more one and two DTE on my transformers. I'll show you those. 
Uh, no closed dynamic butterflies on the uh, dynamic calendars, green for the week. So on my calendars, uh, only had one loss and it was basically a scratch and, and it was actually a big winner or big, it was like a 15 to 20% winner at one point. Uh, it was actually, uh, towards the end of the day and I was, I had to coach my son's baseball game. And so I ended up getting this closed from my phone, ended up being a small loss. Um, you know, one of those that I held it like I was supposed to till the time I was supposed to exit, but had I, had I closed earlier, it could have been a win, but either way, uh, about 3,700, I think on calendars for the week. Yeah. 3,100. Uh, so decent week for calendar spreads, um, options selling, had some winners here, closed a uh, gold trade for 1750 oil, 380, uh, took a loss on MES of 607. That one's still open and a win on UVXY for 393. No portfolio margin trades and then transformers. So quite a few of these, uh, a lot of small wins, uh, had the opportunity at some big winners. There's one for 569. There's one for 1,050. There's one for 1,000. Uh, that was a, this one was actually still open. So that will, um, oh yeah. I transferred four of the seven contract stopped on three of them. So that will probably end up being a loss unless I hit a max on my other one part. Uh, I had a nice couple of Mah or a nice Mahomes for plus 2,300 and that's it. So plus 5488 on my transformers. So look forward to uh, a good week this week. Um, I am doing a magic Mahomes class for the option Omega crew. So looking forward to that. And I uh, hope everybody has a good week of trading. Cheers.